All right. This is Isaac's video. And Isaac, we just want to say that um, we learned the C chord, which is here. And we learned the D7. So that first finger on the second string, first fret, second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, and third finger on the second fret of the first string. So it sounds like this. It's called the four chord because um, it's G, A, B, C, four chord. And then the D is called the five chord, G, A, B, C, D. So one, four, five chord in G would be G, C, and D. So we have a G, which is open, G. We have a C chord, which you have a chord chart of. And we also, I wrote you the D7, which is... First finger, second string, first fret, and second finger, um, third string, second fret. And I know it's kind of a reach for you, and you're kind of new at this, and a little smaller fingers. Try to get the chords as clean as you can, and then try all your rolls that you've been practicing, try all those rolls. And, you know, forward roll, backward roll, alternating mixed roll, forward, backward roll, and put these chords on them. And those make it sound a little bit more interesting. In addition to practicing your... And... So you're getting more and more to practice. You can practice for a longer period of time if you want. And um, any questions, call me. I got to go and practice hard. I think that's everything. If you've got any other questions, call me. All right. Bye-bye.